Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to talk about the new feature that got released with Xcode 12 Beta 3. So you can see that I am using the latest version of Xcode, which is Xcode 12 Beta 3. Also, I am using the latest version of the Big Sur. So this is the Mac OS Big Sur Beta 3. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this feature. This feature is about redacting information, meaning not giving out the information or kind of like fading it out, not displaying it. So what do we actually mean? Let's go ahead and check out our current example. You can see that right now on our view, we have a toggle which simply says redacted. We have the name and we have the social security number. Now, social security number is a private piece of information and you shouldn't be displaying the social security number just out of the blue. And you can see that the redacted is turned on, but this doesn't really do anything. What we want to do is if it's turned on by default, the social security number does not appear. It's redacted, it's faded out, it's fuzzy, people will not be able to read this information, in other words. So how can we do this? Well, in Xcode 12 Beta 3, there is a new function that you can fire, dot redacted, and you can provide a particular reason for redaction. So we're just gonna say placeholder. That's the only enum right now available. And now you can see that the social security number is not appearing at all. It's completely redacted, extracted, not visible. But we only want to redact the social security number when the person has toggled or turned on the redacted toggle bar or the toggle control. This means that right over here, we can create a condition. Is redacted, then placeholder, else we will simply go ahead and call in it. And let's go ahead and run this again. So by default, when the page actually loads, when the screen loads, the redacted toggle is on, which means that we will not be able to see the social security number. Let's go ahead and turn it off. And now you can see that we can see the social security number. So redacted is a pretty cool uh, feature that has been added in Xcode 12 Beta 3 that allows you to redact certain private information or even certain information that you are currently loading. You will go to sometime different websites or different pages uh, of an app and you will see that sometime they will show you the redacted information and they're using it as a placeholder which means that it's eventually going to be loaded. So there are multiple use cases for redacted, redacting the private information. Maybe you don't want to share it. Maybe you are not the primary account holder and you shouldn't be seeing the social security number or the health information, which is private information. Or you can have redacted information, meaning you are trying to load some information and it's using as a placeholder. So there are many different ways that you can do that, all right? So that is the new redacted feature in Xcode 12 Beta 3. If you like to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. I have a course on Swift UI. It's called Swift UI Declarative Interfaces for any Apple device. You can see that this is close to a 20 hour course. So it's pretty much covered everything you ever imagined about Swift UI. It starts from the very beginning and then it can take a deep dive into many different concepts, including property wrappers, core data, Swift UI, recipes and animation on all devices, and even a huge section on Swift UI for iOS 14. I'm also going to show you how you can integrate with pedometer and healthkit data, and even draw charts using Swift UI. So this is the complete course on Swift UI. I would say if you are interested in this course, then check out the YouTube description and you will be able to find many different courses that I have created. Uh, and I would really appreciate 
if you try out different courses that I have. But the best way to get these courses is by checking out the YouTube description. You will find the links, click on the link, and you'll be able to get these courses. Thank you so much and enjoy the video.